Hi guys, so today I have a fun video for you, uh, sponsored by Tonic Studios. They did send these items free of charge for my review, and all opinions are my own. And any links down in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I would make a small commission if you purchase items through those links. Um, so this is part of birthday week. This is a gorgeous floral stamp set. Um, it has the stamps and coordinating dies. So let's check this out together, because, sorry, you know I like to try not to peek too much until we're all together. So here we are. Um, so really really nice let me put this to the side for now we'll focus on the stamp set itself and do I have something yeah there we go um, all these beautiful florals uh, we can you know pair them up just make a background make your own um, scene if you like scene building we have just for you oh I love the way they're written too it just looks very earthy like like they just pair together really well thank you for everything sending love your way always thinking of you look how pretty this one is it looks like a Kind of looks like a California poppy. Um, then we have like little wildflowers, or just flowers, like a whole little field of them there. And then this beautiful flower here. Reminds me of Plumeria, the flower itself, but the leaves aren't quite Plumeria-like. Um, some little individual leaves, this be really, really beautiful flower here. Kind of looks like a poinsettia, it doesn't have the layers of that, but like you can definitely dress that up as that. Uh, we have these leaves in the background, like however you want to use them. Um, beautiful little floral kind of spray, some more little extra leaves, and then this um, pretty like bouquet of roses and daisies it looks like and then it has this uh, die set so let's check this out oh that's so cool I didn't realize they even had the die to cut the little field out because it's usually something you kind of put in the background but if you wanted to use that and that's very cute I would put that like on a tag or something um, so basically it looks like everything has a die if you're really looking like even this little sprig here has a die right here the words have the dies too which is really great um, and all the flowers, of course. So what I'm going to do is grab some paper. Um, we'll probably do some coloring, maybe some inking. I don't know. We'll see. So let me get some stuff together, and we'll try these out. Okay, guys. So what I'm going to do is actually use colored papers to color our flowers, and then um, we're going to cut them out. So, of course, you can color them with all kinds of, you know, alcoholic markers, water-based markers, colored pencils. I mean, um embellishment mousses which would be really pretty uh, I'm gonna use a hybrid ink to stamp with just because I have that but um, for this it's not super necessary because we're just gonna stamp them I'm gonna stamp them all in black if you want to have a little more fun with it what you can do is like on this purple paper use purple ink for the whatever flower you're gonna stamp with on the green use green ink for the leaves or however it's gonna be all black I have a card base here it's just a white card base standard A2 standard A2 size, four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm gonna mat that up and then everything else, we'll see, you know, I just wanna play with it and then we'll get there. But I'm gonna use my deckle edge trimmer and I have some craft card stocks. I thought it'd be really pretty on craft card stocks. So for this, what I do is I'll start a little bigger than five and a half because um, I guess if you, you wanna keep the other page, piece of the paper for another standard A2 size card, you can then just cut this differently. But, um, you know, I could go do the four inch side this way and then we can do that just to conserve paper so either way um, I'm gonna cut it a little bit bigger so I want my mat to be I guess we can do four by five and a quarter so I'm gonna go a little bit bigger than four that way I get that excuse me I get that deckle edge but if I was to cut it at four already when I go to turn it it's already cut at four I, I can't get the deckle edge trimmed off this side right so now on this side I'll match it up and I'll say okay four inches so I just gave myself a little bit extra so now I'll line it up four inches so I have a little piece it's probably about an eighth of an inch maybe a little more to actually cut off because if you cut it off there's you just gonna have a straight edge and you can't cut anything off of it right so I hope that makes sense so in this other direction I'm going to bring it down here a little just to have a different deckle edge actually I'm gonna cut off this side I'm looking at this edge over here and I'm bringing it down in a different area so it's not all the same I mean it'd be very hard to tell if you have a very <laughs> discerning eye maybe you can say hey this deckle looks the same here and there but I do want to bring it to a different area I'm gonna cut that and now I'm gonna do the five and a quarter and you know you can match it up wherever you want but five and a quarter and you know like maybe in this area just so it's a little bit different making sure it's straight since we do have a deckle edge it's a little bit wonky and now this is five and a quarter by four with the deckle edge all around And it's going to mat in here like this. Okay. So, I might have to trim this down. I feel like I made it a little bit too big in my card base. Yep, I knew it. Just looking at it, I'm like, that looks a little tall, right? On here. 
Um, it's five and three quarter inches for some reason, so I will trim off that last extra quarter inch off the top, but I'll do that, you know, when we go to, it'll be done when we go to use it. Um, so I have some different colors, and I want to basically pick out the flowers in here that are by themselves, like a single flower like this guy, and we have this little guy, maybe these guys, because like I said, the what I want to do is just stamp on a color. So like if I got this one, these will probably be my focal point flowers since they're the biggest ones that I can just stamp and then cut out. Ah, oh, they smell so good. Love a photopolymer stamp. <laughs> so, you hear that little stickiness because the first time. It does have like a little dispersion layer on there. Um, I'll see how it stamps and I might have to stamp it again. Basically you want to get that dispersion layer off. So a lot of times you can stamp off on a scrap piece of paper and then do it again. So I think, what am I going to do? I'm going to do one of this light pink of this rose. Okay. And then of the deeper pink, I'm going to do two. Because this is going to be my focal type of flower, so I want like at least three of them. So there's another one. And I'll give myself some room because I don't know how much room the die actually leaves or needs around it, so I'll leave a little room. And this is all I'm going to do. I'm just going to go and stamp up some flowers. Um, so I'm going to use that one because, again, she's a good one to stamp on her own. And then, like this little one, I'm going to stamp on the yellow. So just this little guy, whatever yellow, and several of them, like I said, I'm not sure how I want to design the bouquet, so I'm just going to stamp a ton of them. There's one. So I'll continue stamping a few of those. On the purple paper, I'm going to do this one. Actually, I should have switched that. This looks like a poppy, so I'm thinking maybe I should do those in poppy colors, huh? Maybe that's what I'll do. Or just have a mishmash of colors. <laughs> So on this one, I'll probably do some purple ones of this little guy and let this be the poppy color. Why not? And this one does have some greenery with it, but I'm going to cover that up. So I'm only going to do like one or two of this one. I don't need too many of this one. Okay. And then um, the leaves, I'll just take whatever leaves I would like to stamp in the green on different green papers and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have all kinds of things stamped and what we're gonna do is just cut them out with the corresponding dies. So for every single one of these guys, I wanna see how much, okay cool, that's what I was wondering. I didn't know how much excess there'll be. So these are pretty easy to see through. Um, if they weren't, I would just cut on an extra piece of paper, the little aperture trick that I've shown you guys many times before. I pretty much use it in every video, but let's say, this wasn't easy to see through, so I would tape this down. I would, you know, with a little piece of tape, just a scrap piece of paper, run it through your die cutting machine, and then this gets removed. So all you do is open this up like a little flap, and then you can see through it, because there's an aperture here now, since it was cut out. And then you can lay it back down and cut out your die, your image perfectly, but since these are pretty easy to see through. If I need to do it on maybe like these little leaves or the sprig, I'll do that, but for now, Actually, I don't even need to cut these things out. I just need to give myself some room. I'm just going to eyeball all of these guys. And I'll have all these little pieces that we can play with. And I'm just going to cut them all out. Just like that with their corresponding dies. Nope, that's not it. <laughs> I'll say that looked really big when I went to get it. That's for this guy. It's like, it looks like the shape I need for one of these right in here and as you can see I mean you can see right through it even down to the stem so that's really nice okay so I'm gonna cut all these guys okay. out hey super easy to line up very easy. even the small one with the like, little areas you know it's just really nice you can look right through it. it has just the right amount I think of edge I know sometimes we have dies that leave a lot of edge and sometimes they're right on it so it makes it harder to cut so that's why you use that aperture trick but these are like right on there it looks really nice okay so I did trim down my card base to five and a half not five and three quarters by four and a quarter. So five and a half by four and three quarters. We're gonna add this guy. And I'm keeping it super clean. You're gonna do, do some inking, make it look a little more rustic. That'd be cute too. And then, so in my mind, I'm thinking like these two are the darker pink and they're gonna go in the back somewhere. And then this guy oops, would go above them. 
Yeah, some yellow flowers. Again, I was thinking about covering up most of the that yellow part, but yeah, it doesn't really bother me that much actually. I don't know if I'm gonna use both of them. I did cut two. If I had another one, oh come on. <laughs> Coming this way. Hmm, not bad. So I'm just gonna play with these and kind of you know, maybe even put the green there. Covering up the greenery that was there before. I don't know. Uh, I might trim off the legs on that. And then we have like so many greeneries and all these other fun things. So I'm just going to play with this quite a bit and see what I want to do. Because obviously right now it's just a mass of flowers. <laughs> um, and I have these little guys I can tuck in here and there. But I think these guys are going to go popped in at the top later. So let me play with these a little bit and see exactly what it is that I'm thinking about doing. I might even, like I said, I don't need this on here. And maybe I'm just going to do a little fussy cutting to get rid of that part. See? All right, I'll be right back. Kind of like this. So I'm gonna stick these down for sure where they are. And then these guys, they're gonna pop up on top later. So I'm just gonna take a little glue Stick that one down to this one. Something like that. Just kind of eyeballing this again. And I'm not gluing them down completely in case I want to tuck other things underneath later. And then again, let's pretend these guys are here. And I'll face them the right way that I want. That wouldn't be popped up. And then this one would be popped up maybe with his own little leaves here. Oh my gosh. So cute. I like the look of that. I'm just trying to see what I think of it. You guys know I'm not that picky. <laughs> I just want to see. About where that would be. Okay, let's stick those two together for now. So these will act as one whenever I use them later. And then we have this space here. And we have all these little flowers. Should some be underneath? Some can be on top. This little guy can be back here. That would be good. And then I have a whole bunch of little How many of these guys should we put? So let me play with the little flowers and I'll kind of think about where I want to put those and I'll be right back. So as I play with this, I'm kind of just trying things out. I think I do like this being here, so I'll stick that down. And that guy would be up higher. So he'll kind of come up on top of that. And I like this one poking out from back here. And I think I'm going to stick these two guys together. And I still haven't really decided what that means about the little flowers, but... Something like that. Okay, so I am going to glue this one here. Kind of facing the face of the flower, like out that way. And this one can be tucked in here. Your wrist guy's gonna be pop dot up here. And actually, I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. And I still have lots of little sprigs and things I can tuck in here and there. So for me, this is the um, the fun part or the hardest part, however you want to look at it, of kind of arranging things to make it look nice. So I'm gonna maybe put that there. And then we have all these little babies. Again, I have more leaves and kind of play around with them. So I'm going to do that for a minute and see if I, you know, do I want to put one like in here? That looks nice. It's a little fresh, nice fresh green in there. But do I want to copy that exactly on this side? Or add it a little bit higher up. We're just making all kinds of stuff. I think that looks cute right there. So as I go along, I'm just going to glue things down, you know. So like this guy, I liked him there. And I like these leaves tucked in behind him. So I'm just going to put some glue. Tuck that right there. 
I'm just going to glue down. I don't think I need another. Well, maybe I do. Maybe I do. A little purple flower here. Or should I tuck him in here? And I have other purple flowers I need to cut. I just didn't know how many I needed, so I was just leaving that there. Cute. Okay, um, let me play around with this a little bit more. I'll glue that one down and I'll bear okay. back. So, I cut one more purple and then that's it. Just readjusted some things, so I don't think I have this one glued down, do I? No. Well, it is, but... I'm going to put this guy here. Really sweet. And you know I'm going to put some rhinestones in the middle of those little flowers. Or um, Nouveau Drops would be really sweet. I'm just gluing down the pieces that I hadn't quite glued down yet. As I just eyeballed all this. And I think this guy needs to go over here. This isn't glued down either. <laughs> So you see, I just kind of played with it, I tucked some in, if I didn't care for it, I moved it, you know, all these different things. So, I think that's really sweet. Alright. And so what I'm going to do is, um, oh, we actually have these too if you want to tuck like yellow, little leftovers. Um, here and there. I'm going to get some paper to cut and our sentiment and I'll be right back. You know I was going to cut the sentiment out but you know looking at it I was kind of seeing what it is that I want to put on here. I may have cut it out and put it there but I think I'm just going to put just for you and I'm just going to stamp it. So I'll put that down. I know this is dangerous for some if you want to use a precision press or something like that but you already have everything else built up around here so um, we don't want to do that. Actually what I want to do is put this right on the edge. So when I stamp it, I can see exactly what I'm doing there. And where's my black ink? I'll use black ink. And again, it just has like a little rustic look as far as the lettering. So I'm gonna do that and just make sure we don't have any ink that's gonna touch our project. That's old ink. And just kind of eyeballing here. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Keep an eye out every day during birthday week. There will be fun new things and surprises, and um, I'll have the links for you guys. Thank you so much, Tonic, for sponsoring the video and sending these items for review. I'll have some images for you. Again, links in the description box, and I will see you guys at the next one. Bye now.